Hey, my YouTube friends, Brian Cass here, otherwise known as Fade to Tube Radio Man. I have some extraordinary news. I finally got a radio that's been a big missing piece in my early Feta collection. This is the Feta Neutrodyne Jr. Now what's special about this one, there's only two dials. And inside, only three tubes. This is what's known as a reflex radio. So let's check it out. This is my power supply that gives this the necessary voltages. At nighttime, of course, I get a lot more stations, but in the daytime, I just get the uh, strong local ones that likes to bleed all over the dial. But this is an extremely rare radio. Uh, the Feta Company made a lot of them because they were inexpensive, so more people could afford them. But the crazy part is, these things never come up for sale. I never see these. This is the second one I've ever seen come up on eBay. And you can believe it was expensive. So there's a big part of my early Feta collection. So this is the um, one of the important pieces, of course. So let me show you the other pieces to the early, early radios. Of course, here's the man that started it all, Frank Andrea. And recently, I just uh, came across this on eBay. It's just a, uh, a plaque just stating that um, Ray F. Wright is an authorized faded dealer and service station from 1927 to 1928. This is how it started for Frank Andrea. He started by making cat whisker detectors. And this is just a crystal detector. In my early FATA collection, this is the uh, FATA 160, and I had restored this one. And this is also a real performer. This one, as you see, has three dials in the front, and this has four tubes. It's a little dark over here. Here's the Feta Neutralette. It's a 192A. This is a real performer. I can hear many, many stations from across uh, many states, including Washington, Ohio, Nevada, and a few others. This one over here is the Feta 195A. And this one's from uh, 1924. This is actually a really big radio. Here's a few other Fetas that I have. These are awaiting uh, restoration. The top one is a Feta 160. Those are also still really hard to get. So when uh, this one became available, I snatched it up. The one in the middle is what's called a knockdown kit. So that was a kit you could buy from the Feta company and assemble it at home yourself. Same with the one on the very bottom there. It uses uh, Feta parts, but I think that it's a different um, maker's kit. But again, they used Feta parts, and that's why I bought it. Plus the awesome um, tiger striping. But these are all also from the very early 20s. And lastly, this is the Feta Neutral Grand. This is also a very expensive radio that's also very hard to get. And this is uh, from 1924, if I recall, and that has the uh, horn at the very top. That's also a very good performer as well. So that concludes my early, early 1920s Feta radios. So as you can see, I have 
a complete collection. There's the Feta you just seen. There's the Feta Neutro Junior in the middle. And of course the 160 that you also just seen. To my knowledge, that's the only uh, radios that Feta made in the early 20s. And in the 30s, they started making more table models and also larger console models. Well, that's it for now, guys. Have a great day.